I throw the map at Glenn. You Can I try some direction sense? You've never been here before, unfortunately. Direction yeah. sense, you have to actually have gone the right direction at least once in your life to go, <laughs> I feel it's this way. Right now you're like, Slee stack roads right. suck ass. Can we stop and ask for direction? Oh. Wait, you, no, you, you're men. You're not going to fuck. You'd rather <laughs> die. Right now you guys are going hungry. You have no food and water. Everybody's getting really weak. You're starting to hallucinate. It's daytime oh, yeah. again. Glenn's been driving in a circle. Uh. He passed the same farmer on his porch three times. Of course you're not stopping for direction. <laughs> it violates the man code. Glenn, do you mind? Can you go to the embassy and get something to eat? <laughs> yeah, take this. Take this trump of me so you can come back. <laughs> See, they'll pull over to get food and keep from dying, but not to get directions. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, there is there is a way around the man code of uh, directions and stuff. I look at Dana. <laughs> 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 Are we like right in front of the dude's porch? Uh huh. <laughs> Same guy who warned has you. Has Glenn it. disappeared yet? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. Uh, he has. The farmer's like <laughs> picks up his uh, shotgun uh, uh, pitchfork, looks around, he begins creeping around the porch looking for Glenn. <gasps> he comes up with a realization and runs into the house. <laughs> you hear three different pitch screams. Ee, ee, er. We might need a different farmhouse. <laughs> Let's drive away and wait for Glenn to come back. Yes. Cut to uh oh I, Glenn, you're really fortunate that you reappear where they are as opposed to where you left from because that would be super awkward. <laughs> you're sitting there with a big picnic basket and the farmer's like, hey! <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, right, you guys go down the road a piece because you seem to be in the country and they all vote Republican here, no doubt. So <laughs> you're down in the uh, somewhere else. Glenn comes back. Um, you guys uh, send in... Uh, the only female you have is a sacrificial lamb to either get slaughtered mercilessly or <laughs> ask directions. Either one is equally as bad in your man's eyes. She comes back looking smug. <laughs> Give me a research roll there, Dana, to find out which way is west or Vegas, whichever is better. This is for asking the right people as opposed to the, you go past where the Pearson place used to be before it burned down and was reseeded. Uh, right, she comes back, gets in the car. Now give me a new uh, navigate roll to take them to the promised land. You're at a plus 5% because people told you which direction to go. You may think that they're lying and choose to go in a different direction because you don't want the directions mansplained to you. <laughs> Uh, I think I've been politically incorrect enough for one session, but I'll see if I can keep pushing the envelope. I do have a compass if that will help, but I doubt it. It shows it's spinning round, round, baby, round, round, like a rug. Yeah. Right. You guys pull well, back up in front of the same exact farmer who goes, aha, I knew it. Mm. That was without my five as a modifier. It would still be a fumble. Yeah, it's still oh, okay. doubled by one point. And the farmer uh, uh, gets into his uh, tractor and begins to chase you guys around. <laughs> the tractor's a lot slower than you are, but you are now being chased by an angry farmer. You've been traveling for two days on the one day thing. You haven't slept. We you're, should you're have taken the food. bus. <laughs> You're, dri you're driving through a bunch of fields and stuff, and you see these weird flapping shapes uh, all over the place. They're like some sort of uh, big black winged uh, creature that probably got a wingspan to maybe uh, two thirds of a meter big or something like that. They're just flapping around, making high pitched squeaks at each other. 
the hell is that? I'll be able to. Please, stat crows. <laughs> they think we're going to die soon. <laughs> they might be right. <laughs> you guys have eaten, but uh, er, uh, who's driving? Uh, Glenn's driving right now. Yeah, it sounds. No, wait. Freddie was driving last. Freddie, give me a willpower times uh, three roll not to go. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're going to keep driving until you don't have to ask for directions from anybody ever again. <laughs> you knew it was a mistake to let the female talk to other people and get lies that she was now sending you on. I mean, you literally just went on an eight-hour trip to come and visit the same goddamn farmer as before. Get gas. Find a motel. <laughs> yes. yeah. Right. Uh, give me a luck roll to happen upon a motel out in the back roads of, uh, you might be in Alabama now. You're not really even sure if they have an Alabama, but if there's a bright spot in this Lee stack world, oh, you find a uh, 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 motel called your wife won't know. <laughs> you guys pull into there, dog ass tired, and don't care anymore. It's like, ah, fuck it, I'll tell her myself. You <laughs> grumble. Uh, right. Would you each like your own room just to be away from the others for a little bit? It's only uh, uh, 25 uh, slee stack bucks per room per night. Each room has two beds for some unknown reason. Maybe in case, maybe the slee stack are especially energetic when having sex and leap from one bed to the other. That'd be uh, interesting. Okay. I'll get two rooms, one for me, one for the two of them. <laughs> Is there a suite? Uh, no, not here. Here, the best you can do is uh, uh, get uh, rooms that are next door to each other and with the soda machine in between both rooms, so that way you can hang out around the soda machine or whatever. I mean, that's just, yeah, this place sucks. Okay. Good news is, though, if you wanted to, mm -hmm. you can watch five different varieties of slee stack porn on your TV. <laughs> it may cause sanity loss in you, but it might be yeah. worth seeing for purely research purposes. I want to see what they do with those horns. Mm -hmm. uh, Freddie's paying. I'll go with what he said. Yeah. Okay. The next day finally dawns. You guys wake up and get up. and mm. um, Yeah, yeah. It's, I, uh, you found a egg on your toilet, baby. You. You're not sure. It's, it was like the size of a fucking ostrich egg. You don't know why it was sitting on the toilet or what it means. What spell are you casting? He yells and screams and punches the wall of the room he's in. Nobody thinks anything of it. <laughs> um,. Elemental spell. They turn up their volume on their TV a bit. Roll willpower times three for elemental spell. Yeah. And roll elemental spell. Well, never mind. Wah, wah. So you blow half the magic points and like it. Care to try again? Um. Try the mana trickle. That one's times five, I think. If it's not elemental. No. Hey, I'm done. Dana, would you like to cast any weird spells today? I mean, Glad's doing it and he's not cool. <laughs> um, probably not. Okay, Freddie. I know you don't bother with magic anymore because it just ends what up burning. Magic? It just ends no. up burning down the fucking room. We all know Bad this. things happen. Yeah, but so, I have nothing to do with it. Oh, that'd be a good new tech spell. Appear on somebody else's TV. Ha! <laughs> That'd be fun. So, uh, right, you, you guys all go and join up at the car. Uh, 
you, you guys uh, uh, want to force Dana to go get directions from the apathetic uh, uh, slee stack sitting at the desk here? I yes. will break down and ask what? myself. <sighs> the slee stack uh, desk guy takes away your man card and rips it up in front of you. You feel so low. All right. And he attempts to give good directions, and he just uh, ends up giving you this wild rambling fucking story. It seems to involve a truckload of fucking uh, penguins for some reason. And you are more confused. Of I went to Vegas once. <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah, so he fumbles his uh, direction giving skill. In fact, uh, you're pretty sure that if you drive around, you'll be back here tonight. <laughs> uh, I go back to these guys. Yeah, he doesn't know. <laughs> I've got He's gone for 15 minutes to get that. All right, let's let's go find a like one of those tourist uh, agencies and ask for directions over there. I'm looking at all the maps. Let's see if uh, during my orange oh. juice here. Oh yeah, apparently oh, okay. night oh. sleep is all she needed. Cut to <laughs> Vegas. You guys driving to Sleep Stack Vegas, and it shows like the the famous iconic cowboy thing. But when he takes off his hat, he's got a big horn. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they wear the ten gallon hats is for the horn and stuff. You know, some normal Sleep Stack hats have a hole in the top so that the horn sticks through. <laughs> Also, female slee stacks, one of the ways you can tell females from male, first they have egg implants, which look like breasts because it's the uh, Zoiberg uh, thing where anything that looks like breasts is actually not breasts on other non-mammals. Mm -hmm. So that's where their eggs are, which means you found a big tit in your bathroom this morning, kind of. And... Um, also, the women slee stack paint their horn different colors, the same way that Earth women paint fingernails and stuff. Some Earth men also, but mostly Earth women. Yeah. You guys arrive in Vegas. Uh, where would you like to go to? Go it. Send it to hell. I thought you guys had an answering machine. I was like, oh, how 1980s. We do. It just takes a while for it to pick up. Is that one so you can screen the... Do you have a landline? Yeah. Oh, my God, a landline. I've heard of those. <laughs> cool. It doesn't uh, require a change of number if you drop your cell phone in water. <laughs> Uh, somebody told me once that if you drop your cell phone in water, you just uh, put a, it into a jar with a bunch of rice, and that way yeah. at night it will attract Asians who will come and fix your phone. But I thought that was very racist of them. So, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, wow. Hey, I miss living in Asia. So, <laughs> my cell phone always works. So what do you guys do now? I want to go to that Greyhound bus. The Hound bus. No problem. You guys head over to the uh, bus station and you find some interesting stuff there. Uh, first off, it looks like there's one of the women's bathroom. Okay, both bathrooms are kind of like uh, external access, like... Uh, you could walk out of the bathroom and then straight into the street and get hit by a car, for example, okay? They have, like, a little overhang and stuff. But the women's bathroom has got a big police line, do not cross tape and stuff. And it looks as though the uh, door, over the door, wood has been nailed to it, uh, like a big plywood sheets and stuff to keep people out. And uh, there's also... Uh, uh, police tape on that and a CDC sticker saying keep out warning hazardous to health so apparently somebody must have taken a huge dump in there <laughs> um, other than that the bus station looks pretty typical um, give me spot hidden rolls
It yeah. looks like they have a decent but very spotty uh, camera coverage here, mainly to make sure that uh, possible perpetrators know that if they stab a bus driver to death, at least while they're in the station, that they might get in trouble. So they have to wait until they're on the road. <sighs> hmm. Okay. So, looks like we could try to sneak into the bathroom or try to get the security footage or both. Yes to those things. How did you propose we do the first one and the second one for that matter? The second one um, is you, Freddy. First one. Mm-hmm. I would look for a window. Uh, uh, the only the only windows are too small to get through. Unless you're a master of fucking contortions, you can barely get your head into there. So if you dislocate all your fucking bones and shit and slither in like a snake, or if you're false of doom, either way, you could get in there. Hmm. Oh, that crazy Tulsa. Miss him. I'm pretty good at contortions. <laughs> I don't know. And what type of penalty it might be. While we're kind of standing here, I'd like to, uh, I don't know, roll listen and just kind of hear the chatter of what some people think might have gone on here. Mm, sure, go for it. You, oh, you eavesdrop. No problem. It doesn't look like any of the chatters really other than bitching that the women's room is still closed days later. Uh, some of the people, give me a luck roll, Dana, as you're like, shows her with like one of those fucking big microphones. This is <laughs> one of the people. Oh, yeah, they, they were saying that the news stories and stuff and somebody even mentioned, you know, uh, on on some bulletin boards was different footage that you should get a look at type deal. But the main thing is people, uh, exclusively females, bitching that the women's restroom is closed. The men, for some reason, don't seem to care. Bastards. They, they don't care one bit. This is a bus stop. Let's read the paper. All right, no problem. You guys head over and check out the uh, newspaper. Um, It's a good call, actually. Take a card for that. Uh, Apparently, there was some sort of uh, uh, big news story that went on at the bus station, which I will find you here. Right. Uh, Fire and hazmat teams uh, got dispatched to the main Vegas bus terminal, where you are now. Uh, Like, this is a small follow-up story, what they're recapping what happened in the main stories with less uh, stuff. After a report of a toxic chemical spill in a lady's bathroom in the public area of terminal, uh, uh, SMPD, Sleestack Metro PD, subsequently cordoned off the area around the bathroom, which will remain closed likely for several days. The fire department said the spill is contained to the bathroom. There only appeared to be one fatality. Um, and uh, no further comment was offered by law enforcement officials. They refer to uh, various news uh, footage uh, releases that they don't show in the newspaper. And um, yeah, they they reassure the public uh, that everything will be uh, cleaned up in a few days. Uh, also, you notice that the date this was supposed to have happened is the same date that Angelique was supposed to be coming back from Vegas. That was the date of her ticketing. The ticketing. See, we should have taken the bus. Hmm. But Where it was such a joy. Paper? Yeah. <laughs> Such a joy to spend like two and a half, almost three days getting here in a car with two men who are like, no, not stuff for directions. No, but that guy's got a map. No, no. 
I was doing like, sit-ups the whole time in the backseat. <laughs> <laughs> and then, if you still want to go into that bathroom, I have a... And I'm patting my backpack as I say this. I have a cure for whatever ailments you may get while you're in there. Mm. Just saying. I have a cure for everything. Uh, I am... Um very honored that you would let me uh, self-administer. Oh no, I'll be the one administering it. If you can fit. I'm, I'm trying to, like, if you can fit in, but through the window, not the, yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and contortion away from that. When, when I think the coast is there. <laughs> uh, it, it will definitely be tricky. You're, you, you're going to have a very limited amount of time to get in. So it's pretty much one try. And then as you're thinking, even for normal contortionists, this will definitely be hard uh, because it is literally, you can fit, it's not made for people to go in and out or slee stack or wherever. It's made to, you can get your head in there and go, oh, what's in here? But that's about it. Okay. Unless uh, you're great at contortions, you were a, a test subject in the sewers of disappointment, so you may be able to get through there. I have an assistant plus 10 that maybe mm. somebody can play on me, and then I also have a skill plus 10 to put on myself. Mm. Well, that's good because your contortions yeah. is going to be at half, and if they play these cards, a half plus 20, so. Yeah, minus 10, basically. All right, that's pretty um, much more than hobbyists there that I still have. A yeah. no, oh, 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 before you go in, before you go in. And the lights off my, and it's dark and spooky. Take my trump, take a trump of myself mm -hmm. so that Ooh. you have a way to get out afterwards. Wow, I'm giving him a card for thinking ahead. Mm. Yes, thank you. I would much rather that than be stuck in this bathroom. No worries. <laughs> Forever. And then um, I hand uh, Glenn my backpack, but I take out my flashlight. Okay. No problem. Good luck. Play your cards first and uh, bios can deals. Either one of you have a preference for being the one who gets the assistant 10? Oh, it's going to kill Rassel and Rad that you got rid of the more loot card. Uh no. -oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I got a card I can drop. Okay. Or trade me, rather. Uh, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah, and I guess while um, while she's doing that, Glenn and I might go find some place to wait, so she can jump over to us once she's done. You don't want to just stand there in front of the women's bathroom and be super suspicious looking. <laughs> Assistant 10. I'll All go right. stand outside the men's bathroom. Plus, That's actually not that far away from the women's bathroom. Uh, I know. I, no, you don't want me like poofing right here. Yeah. That's why I said go somewhere. What Freddy said, people. go find yeah. somewhere I can trump back to you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Um, yeah. well, the job is focused on oh. Freddy. Oh, so. I'll stay nearby. Freddy goes somewhere safe. That you okay, I'll go to. somewhere safe. Yeah. <laughs> Cut to Montana. You have never <laughs> felt so alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All nothing right. will find me here, says Freddy. I not that rotten my, GM. Make my brilliant moment somehow everyone is not looking anywhere near me scrambling up and through this window yeah. oh my god she fucking just goes in there like a boss you look around with your flashlight and you get to see this it's on the uh, middle far right wait did I move the thing yeah I did ha -ha. what is that yeah, that's some weird shit there. And uh, 
Give me a con slash endurance roll while you're standing in there looking at this. Like, what is it? Yeah, you're like, Hi, yeah. Um, con. There we go. You're feeling a little bit dizzy and stuff in here. Um, something's up. You're not sure what. Is it like something that I can take a sample of? Oh, yeah. Get rid of your plus 20 that's in there. Um, oh, yeah. In, you want you want to scrape some onto the something. end of your flashlight to carry around or something? <laughs> you really don't have a lot in the way of sample bags, I'm, collection yeah. gear. I mean, you can scoop it up with your hand and go, what's this? <laughs> I'm going <But>, to, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, drop a piece of toilet paper or paper towel on there and see if it gets eaten away or what, or if it soaks up. I don't know. Give, give me a six sense danger sense as you're sitting there kind of feeling a bit dizzy just, just from being in proximity. You're thinking I should modified. leave before I fucking die. Okay. I take some quick pictures on my watch in there and then, um, I don't think I, the watch actually takes pictures. Oh, I had used it before, but that was like, not this season. Aha. Uh -huh. You're like, it doesn't take pictures. What? <laughs> I think I'm taking pictures. Okay, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Committing it all to memory. I get out my sketch pad and then, no, realize I don't have it with me. Um, the and world begins swimming a bit. Roll a d6, you want low. I, uh, look, I start the trumping process, calling out to... Right. That's a long fucking two minutes of sitting there with a the flashlight going. Yeah. You uh, After a while, you realize a flashlight's not sufficient. You have to turn on the fucking lights of the bathroom. Fortunately, they still work. And then you concentrate some more on it. What did I need to roll? D6. Low is good. Holy shit. Uh -huh. You take five points of damage from something. It, it's not like a sudden all at once punch. It's like a slow, uh, something bad. But you end up, uh, Freddie, where are you standing? Uh, just somewhere where there's other people. Like, behind the building. No okay. cameras or anything. You, you're you're yeah. staying next to a garbage, uh, garbage skiff that nobody else is interested in being anywhere close yeah. to. Yeah. Cool. Uh, you pull her through. She looks really unwell and stuff. I uh, like, oh, Jesus. And I'm fine. Dana, a single strand of your hair goes. You sure you're fine? Yep. You don't need some extra treatment or? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Shows her in the hospital clinging to life. I'm fine. Just fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Okay, if you say so, I'm, I'm here if you need me. So since we're in a secluded area, um, I imagine Glenn is also here. No. He's still no. outside the bathroom. <laughs> He's outside the bathroom looking around does like, it, I'm like, the only human here. Look at this does this shit. still work as messaging? I'm like, I'm out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your, your, your wrist begins to vibrate like it's special time, Glenn. I finish my cigarette. <laughs> Go find him. Why is that man wearing a trench coat? Shh. Okay, uh, you wander off and big fucking uh, uh, blue thing appears. And it's a lot cooler saying that you could type on it. It'd be even cooler if moving your wrist didn't move the whole screen. So you end up typing on it one-handed. Because <laughs> if you try it two-handed, it keeps going away from where you're trying to type. It's really annoying. But eventually, you guys all get back together at the smelly garbage skiff. Blah. Oh, she looks a bit peaked. I think you really totally need some treatment, Dad, right now. Totally fine. So, I think I just need to eat more protein. Is it like something exploded in there or something growing out of the toilet? What? That's frightening. <laughs> what did uh, you eat? I have explained it completely thoroughly to the what I saw. <laughs> so you tell me, Glenn. 
could you describe it for the viewers at home who are no doubt wondering what kind of horrible shit I had a picture of? Um, well, there's purple, like, big splatter, like, just kind of all over. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I don't know. Some of them are in, in now it's gone. big blobs, and then uh, especially on the wall, and then over on the side. Lots on the floor. I don't know. It's messy. But mm -hmm. I don't have to clean it up. It's definitely a bathroom stall. You're not contagious or anything, are you? Well, I didn't wash my hands, so. I stepped back from her. <laughs> Phew, thank goodness. <laughs> Did you touch it? I did not touch it. The, um, <coughs> what I believe, was it like the fumes of it or just the presence of it that was making it? You didn't it? smell anything. So it's probably not bleach. <laughs> purple bleach would be awesome. We could all do it purple bleach. Huh. Um, well, unless we're going to ask around. Well, I'd like to know the, um, it said that there, in the paper, it said that there was a fatality. So we need to find out about that. Yeah. I have a sinking feeling that that's a girl. Splattered all over the bathroom stall. Slee stack are normally green. I'd like to point out that you don't think, unless you, and she didn't look like a purple slee stack. If she was, that would be really, really disgusting. They don't have purple blood? Uh, not to the best of my knowledge. I'm not sure what color blood they have, but it's not that color of purple that you saw. Well, yeah. That kind of indigo shade of purple. I've seen cultists do some freaky shit. True. Anyway, I, th I think that uh, Freddy should go get some security footage off of ancient computers. How do you? All right, if this was the year 2010, maybe I could hack into their computer system, <laughs> but they barely have functioning computers here. How do you want me to do it? Yeah, they probably just have a VCR or some shit. Just computer it. Sure. <laughs> That's easy. If we weren't very conspicuous humans, then probably just uh, get a clipboard and a name badge and say, hey, I'm here to review the security footage. Like I said, there's got to be at least one out of 100 people might be kind of humanish looking. But uh, in this case, we might have to uh, bribe somebody. Oh, yeah, there goes all my money. <laughs> well, I do these slee stack look anything besides money? Um, Shotgun? I don't know, don't know three rectal exams, maybe? <laughs> Let's call that plan B. <laughs> well, there's a, we can, uh, break in perhaps also yeah if we know where this, this bus terminal looks like one of the kind that there's probably your guess oh evidence analysis rolls based on looking around the bus terminal uh do you guys want to continue hiding near the shitty garbage can that smells bad or would you like to just wander around discreetly chatting According to Glenn, he may actually work for the bus terminal. He's just not sure. He doubts it, though. Uh, according to you other two, uh, this looks like the kind of terminal that, uh, because Slee Stack don't use airplane and everybody always seems to want to go somewhere the fuck else, you're guessing it may be a 24-hour-a-day setup where there's always going to be people around. So, And you're thinking on the upside, though, only Freddy has a slee stack money. Might be 24 hours, but there's bound to be less people on night shift. 
sure. Uh, well, where do you want to? Who who are we bribing? Um, is there a security office? Security guard? There's a security office over there. It says security office. Uh, uh, unauthorized personnel stay out. That's probably where the goods are. Are there security guards around? There's one over there. He's watching you guys suspiciously as you guys are acting super suspiciously. There's also a ticket office over there. Uh, there's a jander over there who's... Uh, <laughs> he seems to have uh, either fallen asleep or died. You're not really <laughs> sure which. He's just slumped against the wall. And nobody seems to get <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just like in real life. So, um. All right, here, take, um, here's 20 bucks. I hand one of them 20 bucks, whoever wants it. You go do your thing. I'll keep a lookout. He offers you uh, less than a shitty room at a hotel costs in order to... Uh... <laughs> you think that's enough? I don't know. Do you want more? All right, here's 50. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's see if the office has... Are the, well, the, do we think that it's even in here, or are the police already have it anyway? Uh. I mean, if they were good police officers... They should already have it. It shows the Sorry. police officers That's just boring. gunning down somebody that they think <laughs> may have done something. <laughs> yeah. Like the police file would be they better. They took it. But they probably don't know anything. They're probably not getting in there. If ask around if anybody's seen this lady, this girl, I don't think we're going to get footage. You want to go ask the transient population of the bus station who's only here as long as it takes to get a bus and then gone forever? No. We need to go the to the employees. ticket booth. <laughs> yeah. Ah! Ticket booth, janitor, security guard. Hey, pretty sure the janitor may be dead, uh, but the uh, <laughs> ticket booth, that's something. I think he tried to clean the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I can, I can fix the janitor, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we, go, we go to the we go to the ticket booth. No problem. Uh, where to? Says the disinterested person at the ticket booth. We were hoping that you remember selling a ticket to this person. Uh, which one? The one with the fingers in her mouth, or claws in her mouth, or the other one? The other one. <laughs> she looks at it hmm i guess i sold her a ticket don't remember where to next Did the she... guy behind you goes i'd like to go to reno and she <laughs> says i'll be eight uh slay stack box he goes here you go next did she come by herself or were there others with her uh by herself. Next. The guy goes, I want a ticket to ride. <laughs> <laughs> right. She she attempts to ignore you strange creatures asking her questions about somebody that uh, was trying to buy a ticket a few days ago. But she actually did remember, and that impresses Logan. <laughs> yeah, she's by herself and bought a ticket. And the people in line are getting really annoyed that you guys are still standing in line. All right, I step out. <laughs> they glare at some stupid monkeys when them mutters. <laughs> it's at this point when uh, Glenn gets angry, shits in his hand, and throws it at one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh. I want to take a little walk to the back um, exit or entrance of the women's bathroom and see if that's been thoroughly hippoed by the police. Uh, they don't have a back door for the women's bathroom. There's one way in, unless you are really 
super <laughs> bendy or whatever. Um, and uh, I w- would say only two ways out, either the way the air vent that you went through or the door, but in your case, you have found a third. <laughs> oh, I thought that there was like a door from the outside of the bus terminal into the bathroom. That's that was the like only door. Out. That's the only door. You have to go out of the bus because the bus terminal is one of those like it's mostly it's mostly an outdoor thing. That way it can minimize passenger comfort. So if it's really, really cold and shitty and stuff, which it isn't and well, actually it gets really cold in Vegas. And that way the homeless people won't come here and camp out. They are homelessly stacked. Uh, they will have to go somewhere the fuck else. Because everybody in Vegas is interested in driving them off and, you know, be the Las Vegas. There are numerous shuttles and stuff you could get into uh, the the city proper itself. I mean, you could drive your car. You could actually see the city from here. But, you know, with the events of the last three days, you're having doubts and beginning to second guess yourself. <laughs> can we make it to Vegas? I mean, I can see it. <laughs> but we may get lost and be back at that same farmer's house again. <laughs> well, if as long as we're not being overheard and like, well, she either died in there or she escaped or she was recaptured. So we can try to chase after or more things that I haven't thought of that you guys did. So either we can try to retrace her steps if she got captured or not. And like where else she would she go if she wasn't on a bus or we can try to find a cult lair somewhere in the city um, I think most helpful clue out of here would really be, unless if there's a great camera shot of somebody's face that then we're also able to recognize. <laughs> well, there, are, there are several cameras. You may actually get lucky. Uh, by the way, you do see a dog uh, biting at the wrist of the janitor uh, who's laying there. The dog pops its hand off or claw off and trots off with it. <laughs> Nobody mm-hmm. else even looks up from their newspapers. Um, <laughs> hmm. We need to probably got keys. We need to find. Yeah, we need to find out uh, who died in there. Who, who died, died in out there? here? <laughs> and then I need to leave for a moment, and I'll be back. No worries. She's looking should. for the other female restroom, apparently. Um, the other option would be checking out the music scene, seeing if Little Fresh played any gigs, and yeah, looking for leads there. Yeah. Hopefully that would turn up some cult people. Those um, damn artists. I'm impressed she got it through the fucking window. Yeah. That's hard. Yeah. Yeah. I go over to the the janitor and kind of nudge him with my foot. He slops over on his side. Um, I check for a pulse. He's missing. (laughs) He's He's busy draining his bodily fluids out. You're like, Yep. Out of court, though. Give me a first aid roll on the sleigh stack. Um. Right. It shows the sleigh stack's uh, head, and Freddy's doing this. He's going, <laughs> I'm not feeling a pulse. <laughs> Maybe if I go faster. <laughs> Quick. 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 I pull out the refresher. Oh he gosh. pulls out a big white That's... dildo that has buttons on it. Um, but it check his mean? pockets for an enormous key ring or a wallet. It's hanging on his belt. Oh, yeah, he's got a he's got a wallet. It's got like a picture of him with his slee stack family and stuff like that. Sixty three slee stack dollars in the wallet. 
Uh, he also has a coupon for buy one, get one free uh, footlongs at uh, um, Underground uh, Train. Is the name of the restaurant? Hmm. I'll pocket that. You've always wanted a coupon for Underground Train Restaurant? Uh, the whole wallet. Oh, right. Well, you've always wanted a sleaze tag family. And the keys. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I think I just done with that. I just uh -huh. said, clear, and I ran it up his butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see how he's doing here. Hey, he becomes conscious and starts screaming. Live. Around. Live. Live. Uh, right. Uh, cut, him viciously. Live, cut, damn it, live. Cut to, it shows uh, Freddie in the newspaper going, you know, like uh, brave, brave monkey uh, saves the uh, uh, passed out janitor. Uh, you know, gender's hand still being sought for questioning. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, thieves thieves raided the, the gender and stuff. So after the press gets done uh, um, <laughs> with uh, Freddie, you guys are able to resume things. It's it's about noon now, and uh, you've got a uh, underground train station uh, two for one sandwich coupon still burning a hole in your pocket. <laughs> it shows. <laughs> Dinner. Oh, there's a restaurant over there. It shows the janitor going, I'm so hungry as he goes by. One of his wrists really bandaged up. Yeah, Fred, Freddie got a, his face in the uh, newspaper for saving a uh, local slee stack man. Good and job when, furthering human slee stack relations, Freddie. Yes. Did you want to identify with your actual name or just make up something for him, Freddy? I will be known as Dr. Proctologist. All right. <laughs> the monkey Dr. Proctologist says it to the <laughs> newspaper. Yeah. So it's new. Uh, you guys have been to the bus station for several hours, uh, you know, with the uh, police, uh, EMTs, uh, et cetera. The gender is back at work trying to push a broom one handed, missing his family and his sandwiches. Well, and his hand. Because life is hard. <clears throat> So, I don't think we'll get what we want, even if we go into the office. So. Oh, I'm sure they'll answer some questions for a local hero. I puff out my chest. Sure. No, no. Oh, wait, really? Oh, okay. Uh, what, what do you guys do? What do you want me to do? If you wanted to ask questions, go for it. Yeah, what, what do you want me to ask then? He's on no-brainer. You pretty much have to program oh. like a guided missile. Oh. Yeah. Um, Dr. Proctologist is at your service. I don't know. I don't think the bus station people will be helpful. Let's go. Well, I don't know. Ask them about the about the incident. Yeah, I guess we could ask if they remember seeing her. Who died? Or the. Who died? Sure, at the ticket office or the security guards or just the local people. Which which one? I'm gonna ask the security guard. All right. I stride in there confidently. Hmm. Give me a fast talk roll as Dr. Monkey Dr. Proctologist is on the scene. Right. Apparently, what they know, and they're happy to tell you because you're 
apparently some sort of local hero. <laughs> Shows a really depressed Jadder pushing a broom one-handed by. Um, yeah, some lady went to the hospital. She When she came out of the restroom, she was screaming, and she got taken to the hospital. Um, her name is... <clears throat> Here somewhere. Unique. Yes. Her parents didn't love her. <laughs> That'd be a great name. My parents don't love me. <laughs> Let's see. Um, sorry, there's a lot of different ways you could go at this, and you guys went at it in a different way. Um, there's a lady in the fucking hospital. Apparently some sort of weird purple fire broke out or something or purple stains or something in the bathroom. And, oh, there it is. Bus Station of Doom. Sorry. I <laughs> uh, Claudia Cantrelli. She's in the hospital. She's not doing good, is what I heard. So, but that explains why she's in the hospital. Maybe you could save her, monkey doctor proctologist. Go, go to her now. Doctor proctologist is on the job. Thank you for your information. I'm going to blow this together too. They applaud. Um, let's go to the hospital. It's that way. They point. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Cut two. You're at um, Major Hospital. It got demoted from General Hospital due to health violations. <laughs> You're getting to visit Claudia Cantrelli. Um, she is in terrible shape, ravaged and burned. Uh, her condition's terminal. Uh, there's a chart that's attached to the bottom of the bed in the old-fashioned style that uh, sitcoms are so used to, so you can pick it up and look at it and probably not understand it unless you got some sort of medicine skill. Um, she's in an intensive care unit, and she has like one of those little plastic tent things around her personally keep people from getting too close. I'm going to try to read the chart. Give me a medicine roll. Doctors wrote this and they they aim to keep it. Oh my God. Ah, yeah. uh, well, this explains a lot. Uh, she is ravaged and burned by radiation poisoning and her condition is terminal. It shows as you're reading it, a, one piece of hair goes, <laughs> falls under the paper and you're like, God damn it. And, Still fine. <laughs> Dana Zool's really into, uh, like, <laughs> denial and shit. I like that. Um, she's expected to survive a, a, a week, maybe less, and um, she, her, her condition is basically just uh, keep her as comfortable as possible so that the icy hand of death can take her. I imagine, is she the only one in this room? Uh, yes. You guys... Uh, since Dr. Proctologist is with you, they think that it's too late for uh, any kind of rectal probing, but, you know, since you saved an air guy, but not his hand or his family or his beloved sandwich, uh, that, you know, you can go ahead and visit her. Besides, she doesn't have too many people <laughs> visiting her, and so this might be a nice change from just sitting waiting for death to take her. <laughs> It shows, uh, it shows like a doctor telling you this and standing a little way behind a doctor's <laughs> big, uh, tall figure dressed in black with a scythe and shit. <laughs> Yikes. It's just one, of, probably one of the good cheer clowns or something, like Patch Adams, but a bit darker. <laughs> so is she conscious or? Yes. Unconscious. Okay. Uh, Freddie, do you want to offer your brand of? 
Uh, the doctors are like, <laughs> the doctors all shake their head. Her skin's falling off. We don't recommend touching her. Mm. I think she's beyond even my abilities. I thought if she was conscious and she wanted to give it a try. <laughs> These if it's her last figure nods. <laughs> if it's her last dying wish, I can attempt it. What is it you're offering? She says weakly. Shush, no. My colleagues have some questions for you. All right. Can you tell us about the incident? I walked into the bathroom. I was blinded by a bright purplish flare. Then the pain and nausea started. I was just minding my own business. I don't understand why this is happening to me. Is there anyone else around? <laughs> it had a face. <laughs> it had a face. She cries. Yeah. And uh, she launches into ranting and begins to convulse. The doctors uh, call uh, code and uh, hustle you guys out. Uh, please give me uh, Sandy rolls for a radiation burned slee stack. Goes under normal slee stack. If you have slee stack max, then. Yeah. You're like, mm. can I try to yeah. psych her down? Uh, no, the doctors are getting you, tossing you out of the room. So they're not like, oh, no, stay and see if you can calm her. No, they're like, get the fuck out. We have to do things, doctor things. One point towards Slee Stack. You will slowly, slowly max that shit out here. I'll be about to say. That appears to be all the information she has for you. Hmm. Aren't we uh, find a secluded table in the cafeteria or some such? While you guys are sitting there, by the way, both of you guys give me memory rolls and everybody take a card. When the lady was selling bus tickets, she was making notes and stuff on the people and whatnot. She, there's a lot more questions than just what is your name, here's your ticket. You don't know if that's important or if that matters, but. Hmm. I'm going to get more tea while you guys think at your table. Feel free to discuss. All righty. So, Glenn. So. Uh, Lil Fresh exploded. <laughs> That's my guess. Trying to. So, she buys a ticket. She's very scared. And then she doesn't get on. This other weird thing happens. Yeah, I think she exploded before she could get on. Cult did some freaky shit. She got away. Trying to go home or whatever. But too late. She exploded. I'll be back. They've escaped. Did you put the bear traps around for your husband as I'd recommended? <laughs> no. Why won't wives use bear traps on their husbands? Because <sighs> then they complain like they're hurt or something. Ugh. You have a good point. Um, can I try a cult lore of, does this sound familiar to anything of a face in a radi <laughs> radioactive thing? Yes. 
Lower is better. Oh yeah, you you. There's something special about purple fire, and uh, purple. Uh, uh, what's it called? Purple fire and purple uh, haze and stuff like that. Something occultic about that shit, but you can't put your finger on it. But yeah, uh, go ahead and refill your hand when you get a chance. I mean, now. <laughs> <laughs> you obviously have a chance now. Hmm. That'll be nice getting to do a two-parter uh, mission for you guys. 